Hello everyone, hope you're having a great day. Hogwarts Legacy released to early access today and I have discovered how to solve most if not all of the puzzles that are in the game. I'm not going to show any spoilers and I want to caveat a few things that if you don't want any spoilers and you want to discover all this on your own, I would leave now and just come back later after you played for a little while. Now with that out of the way, I will say all of the puzzles that I have solved and gotten to, even the secret puzzle, which will be at the very end of the video, I'll have a little timestamp to say, hey, if you don't want to see this secret puzzle, do not watch any further. But basically, everything I found was in the first four hours of the game, and you did need to complete some of the story in order to unlock all of these spells. But other than that, nothing to go out of your way. I would highly recommend doing these because they grant XP and get you a higher level sooner rather than later. Basically, you want to span Revealio, which is the first spell that you get as often as possible to see as many puzzles as you can and collect any of the pages. Then, as you're along in the world, you might run across pages. These are pretty simple. You just use Accio. I just want to point that out. I'm pretty sure you would have been able to figure it out. But if not, you just use Accio on the pages. Then you will come across these little dragon cauldron things. All you have to use is Incendio and then light them up and then the page will appear for XP. Next, if you find these little statues with them holding a little ball, all you have to use is Levioso. Yeah, Levioso. I'm thinking Wingardium Leviosa. Anyway, use that. The ball thing statue will float and then you'll be able to collect the field page. Now this isn't necessarily a puzzle but it'll grant you a large amount of galleons and all you have to use is disillusion and you just go up to these chests and you can collect the gill. If you have invisibility potions you can use these as well. If you have the picture of a moth here this is a very easy if you picked up the quest for this all you have to use is lumos and then It'll give you a hint as to where to go. I'll have that play out here in real time where it gives me a hint. And then since I picked up the side quest, it kind of gives me the direction of where to go. But you have to find the area on the map where this little hint leads you to. And it'll lead you to a moth. You just then bring this little moth back to the painting and you will be rewarded with XP and this little page. I want to note. I haven't found all of the locations, but as you travel and explore Hogwarts, I implore you to try to solve all of these as they do grant challenge and unique rewards once you solve them all. Now this one, you start out in the Divination Tower. If not, I'll show it in the map in a little bit, but this is where you get the little cheat sheets for these number puzzles, and I can explain how this goes. The cheat sheet's right on the bench here. I would highly recommend saving it, or you can pause the video in a little bit. If you find this where it's like lost and you can't find it anymore, just go into your inventory, and then you will be able to find it there. To get to here once again, all you need to do is to go to the library annex in the divination classroom. You just go up and then go down, straight down the hall. You can follow my path, rewind the video if you need. Now these puzzles are pretty simple to solve. You pull up your little cheat sheet and then as you see there is a triangle here. On the triangle here there's one question mark, the question mark going off to the one with a single question mark on the left symbol, and on the bottom triangle you'll see two triangle or two question marks leading for the right symbol. All you have to do is make the three numbers on the outside add up to the number on the inside. So with my handy dandy cheat sheet, I know the hydra is a 3, so 2 3 means if I add 4 it is a 9, and for the bottom one, I need to add 3. So we know the right one it needs to be a Hydra, and then I need a 4, which is this little, I don't know, Lorax looking symbol, dude. And I plug these in, and it'll solve the puzzle for me. Once you solve the puzzle, it'll open and reveal the rewards that are inside. Now, I'm not going to spoil too much here. So this is where, if you don't want to know anything story related, or if you don't want to see any of the secret puzzle stuff, this is where I would click off the video now. And I'd like to say thank you for everyone who's watched and have a great day. Now with that all the way, here's a secret puzzle. This is a Merlin trial. This is part of a main story quest and you will need Mallow Sweet to start this. I won't go over this trial as it's story related. I just want to show you how you start it. You will see other ones throughout the area and that's how you start them. And now this is the secret puzzle. If you don't want, my final warning is you can leave now. But basically this is a bridge secret puzzle. 
I will show how it, I solved it in real time. But basically, there are these four cauldrons that you have to light. And they have symbols with numbers that when you rotate these discs will correspond to the number. So when you're coming out of Hogwarts and you're on this bridge, you will see that all of these symbols correspond to a number on the plate below. So as you can see, the circle is two. The triangle with the little circle at the bottom is three. The normal triangle with lines intersecting it is one. And then the square is four. Once you match those numbers by rotating the discs, as you see here, with the number that is on this plate, a secret puzzle will open up or that actual manhole cover will open up. I won't show you what's inside, uh, but feel free to solve this puzzle and I will have solutions to more secret puzzles as we get to them in the future. That's all I have for this video. Have fun problem solving. If there's another puzzle around the castle that you would like to have a solution to, definitely put it down in the comments below so we can be helpful. I will work on finding more secret puzzles. I hope everyone's enjoying this game. And as always, I hope you have a great day.